Hi, this is Dan from STS. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use your digital video recorder. Um, we're at the live view now, just the normal screen you always see. If you double click on a picture, it'll bring it up to full screen. Double click again, takes you back to your previous view. If you want to view four cameras, you can right click anywhere on the screen. Go down to view four. Go to one through four. That'll let you see cameras one through four. Same thing, view four. 9 through 12, let you see those cameras. Double click on a picture, brings it to full screen. Double click takes you to your previous view. Want to view all cameras, right click, view 16. Um, if you want to do a search, you're going to right click, you're going to get on the main menu, the last option. You select the username that you've been assigned, and you put in your password. hit enter and hit OK. Up here on the top left is your search. You click on search. You have your calendar. Pick the date that you want to search. This arrow takes you to the previous month. This arrow over here takes you to the next month. Click on the date and then you're going to click on which camera you're interested in searching. I t you can select multiple cameras. I recommend don't uh, search more than four cameras. Um, as you select one, two, three, four cameras, it's going to populate your timeline with those cameras, respectively, camera one, two, three. If you select cameras three, six, and five, it's still going to populate the first three lines of your timeline, but with the three cameras that you chose. So we'll just select camera one and search camera one. Go to your timeline. This is military time, 0 through 24 hours in the date of March 1st. Click somewhere in the timeline that you're interested in searching. You can bounce around by just clicking. Once you get in the specific area of time that you're interested in, you can use these time zoom buttons on the bottom left. Right now we're in the 24 hour mode. If I hit the 2 hour mode, it will keep playing at the exact same time that I was before, but it's going to show me a two hour window around that time. So I can move around more freely. You can go all the way down to 30 minutes and then whenever you back up, you're just backing up a few seconds at a time instead of not, instead of minutes at a time. So the button over here is pause. It turns into the play button whenever you're paused. This is the fast forward button. Whenever you hit it one time, on the bottom left, there's an X2. That tells you the speed at which you're playing it back. Hit it again, times 4, times 8, times 16 is the fastest. Hit it again, it's going back to normal play time. When you pause it, you can hit this reverse play button. It says play backwards. Anytime you rest your mouse over something, it'll tell you what it does. Play backwards is going to play the video backwards. The middle button here is stop. And then you can say, okay, well, I want to search camera two. Same procedure. It's staying on the same date we were on. Put a check mark next to the camera you're interested in viewing. Go to a time. Go through that day. See where the time you're interested in. Zoom the time in with the two hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Now, if this is the event that you're interested in looking at. I'm going to go all the way down to 30 minutes and zoom that in all the way as far as I can. Then I'm going to click to the left just a little bit and that's going to back the video up slightly. So I can review my video, say yes that is the person I want to download the video of. So I'm going to go right to the beginning of right before where that happened. I'm going to pause my video. If I want to download this to a USB thumb drive I get a blank thumb drive, stick it in the USB port of the recorder. Go to the beginning of where the video needs downloaded, and you're going to hit this button right here, which is the video clip. When you hit that button, it is going to load the start time with where your cursor was. We were at 1641, 30 seconds. When I hit that button, it puts that time in for the start time. Then you can play your video, you can drag your time, get wherever you need to get to the end of your video. You're going to pause it again 
and then you're going to hit that same time clip button, video clip. When you hit that button, it's going to put the end time where your cursor was. So go to your time, start of event, video clip, end of event, video clip again, your times will be in there, then you're going to hit the save button once your thumb drive is in your unit. Hit the save button, and then you're going to hit, it's going to just give you some details about it, and then you're going to hit back up, and I don't have a thumb drive in there, but if you do, it'll copy it right onto the thumb drive. Once it's done, it'll tell you, pull it out, you have your evidence stored. So once, whenever you're in any menu, if you right mouse click, it'll exit you one step. So I'm in the playback feature. I'm going to right mouse click. It takes me back one step. Right mouse click again, one step, right mouse click again, and I'm back to my live screen.